Okay, this video is going to show you some common errors and how to fix them. So we saw with Siri that if it couldn't understand what you were saying, it didn't produce the right response. Same as that with all computers. But when you're actually coding, it's even more true. You need to be very specific and write exactly the right words to get the right response. This is what's known as syntax, the rules and grammar of how to write in the programming language. So let's have a look at some of the ones that you've been asked to do. OK, so this first one, console.print hello world. So it looks like the one before. Um, so I'm going to copy it. And even before I run it, I know it's not going to run because I've got a red line. OK, so it said that it's broken, it's not going to run. OK, so let's look at why it wasn't running. Hello world. OK. There's a few things that are wrong with this. Console's fine, we've been writing that before. Dot print is fine, but you'll notice here we haven't got any brackets. And I can't just put them anywhere. I have to make sure that the opening bracket and the closing bracket are around the word I want to print. Also, it's missing the semicolon. Now, this, this line is fine, and when it runs, no errors, and it builds. OK, let's have a look at this one. This one looks all right console.print hello world with curly bracket difference is it's got a capital letter at the start so you'll notice that the name here has to be the same as here so i can't mix up my capital letters and my lowercase letters so that'll be something that you have to watch out for it's the same if i try to put a capital anywhere in these um in these important lines okay um Console.print hello world, and it's only got one quote. So you'll notice here that things in quotes uh, are orange, and because I haven't got a closing one, it's put the whole line in orange, and it doesn't know what to do. So you need to make sure whatever word you want to print has a starting quote and an ending quote. Uh, Console.print hello world missing the E. Again, just like capital letters, you also have to make sure you spell things correctly. The computer can't decide for you what you meant. You have to tell it exactly what it is you want it to do. Computers are actually very dumb and they can't think for themselves. Last one, uh, console.print hello world uh, with no quotes. So let's remove the quotes. And now you'll notice that these words aren't in orange anymore. So you can't just put anything in between the brackets. If you want to print a word, like what, like we do, you have to put it in quotes. So if you get any errors when you're programming, make sure you check for those sort of things. Normally, people forget the semicolon at the end of a line. An easy way to, uh, to see that, whenever you've got an error, put your mouse over it, and it'll tell you what it expects. So here it says semicolon expected. So I know that means I've missed my semicolon. Other things are a little bit harder. So when we put over, it says unclosed string literal. Well, the phrase unclosed means I haven't closed something. So here I've opened a string with my quote, and now I need to close it. So NetBeans can give you some hints and clues as to what is going wrong. OK, have fun on your programming adventure.